All right, guys, so I, uh, I got the 2019 Outback all rigged up. I'm gonna do a walkthrough. This might actually be a long video. Um, I'm gonna try and cover pretty much everything. It took me about two hours to rig up. Just stuff I had on my Pro Angler that I moved over. But uh, let's jump in, let's start with the bow. And uh, as you can see, I still got the same trailer. But I got this one objective keel guard. I'll put a link in the description on that. I installed these reflectors that come with the Outback. On the camo, they are black or this dark gray color. Uh, I think on all the other colors, they're silver, but these still reflect. Um, they're just not as bright and noticeable when there's no light being shined on them. And we come to the hatch right here. I got my net. It's my permit for local lake. I got my net and a little roto grip right there. Uh, if we open up the front hatch, you can see I got my life jacket. Got the outback loader or transporter or whatever you call it. Clips on the back so you don't uh, drag your rudder across the ground. Kind of keeps the back end from dragging on the ground when you're loading and unloading. Got a Hobie battery mount with a Nakwa 10 amp hour battery. And that's run to the center hatch. I'll show you guys that in a minute. All right, so on this side, you can see I have my Garmin fish finder. Probably gonna get a new fish finder this winter. Maybe something on Black Friday sale or something like that. I got some gift cards. Hopefully get some side imaging, but um, got the Hobie PA paddle clips. I think I showed you guys this in the last video. Uh, it's something we did with her compass and I really like, I don't like the bungee system. I did keep the bungee system on the other side just for the transportation of my uh, spike. Uh, that's gonna be in the power pole, which we'll get to in a minute. But I just keep it there for transport. And we get to the center hatch. So I keep my pliers or my multi-tool right here. Got my phone floating case, little Ozzyman Sense. Uh, weights, Advil, scale. As you can see here, I've got the same Yak power system and I put it in the bottom of the bucket because I wanted it to be able to be removed easily and it was really tight on either side because you have to like pull it out at an angle. I didn't want to fight it. So I put it in the bottom and it's also a little tight on the bottom, but it works. Um, hopefully that works out fine. Never know. You got a Scotty mount track system with a rod holder. Got my boomerang line cutters that I'm just dropping down there. An extra ram ball, you never know. This is all my terminal tackle stuff. Bobber stops, some uh, bunch of hooks, stuff like that. This just tucks my wires to my fish finder away I'm using the a-trail to ram ball one inch with the garmin system and on this side I just got my fish grips and then some bogus that i store over here uh, and obviously the net on that track system and the power pole right there <laughs> now under the seat i I'm gonna try and keep the seat in a high position, but I got my Plano wrap or my roll or whatever. You can actually flatten this thing out because it's got Velcro throughout the entire thing. So you don't have to roll it up into a roll. You can actually flatten it out. And so that still works under the seat like I had it on the Pro Angler. Now I can do that with the Outback. Uh, the seat is definitely wider than the Outback because I tested one. I did a review video on the Outback and versus the Pro Angler, I think about a year ago. The seat is, I've sat in it and it's, it's definitely more roomy. Um, it's not quite as long this way as the Pro Angler, but uh, width-wise, I think it's fine. I think it's about the same. <clears throat> it obviously doesn't sit up as high as the Pro Angler would. But, you know, that, that's what you get with the Pro Angler versus the Outback. It does have a medium, low, and high position seating. And then I just got my little power pole thing right here tied onto the back of the seat. Arctic cooler. 
you know, you keep your drinks and food and all that stuff fresh. Two of the Yak Gear rod holders. I just wrap them in duct tape to make them fit a little bit tighter so they don't work their way out. And I keep my four 3700 Plano box, two on each side. I used to keep them in here on the PA, but since they don't have a front hatch liner, everything that I used to keep in my front hatch liner now goes in there. Um, we'll see how that works out. And I've got my six uh, rod holders on the age crate so that gives me a total of eight rod holders with the two molded in uh one in the front right here which is basically just for staging and getting fish off the hook and i've got the two molded in in the front which i don't really plan on using but they're there uh, back here i have my strap to strap it down to the trailer but as you can see there's wires that is the power pole wires um they run right here can't really see it i'll flip around to this other side i don't know if you'll be able to see it from here or not but i got it drilled a little hole with a plug right there so that it's nice and tucked up and neat and away from everything not in the way of anything uh drill a hole there fish the wire all the way to the center hatch where the yak, uh, yak power system is so that runs my power pole which is on back here which is one thing i do want to say is this the uh, bolts that come with the Outback, I could not get to fit down this power pole mount. They were too, the head was too big to go down this hole. So I used the ones from my old Pro Angler uh, Hobie plate and just uh, screwed them down in there. So just be warned, you might either have to open these holes up a little bit. I didn't want to do that, but other than that it bolts on real quick and it was a five minute process uh, one of the other mods I did you can see in the other Hobie Outbacks people have there's a bungee system and it has like a track system right here on one of the bungees well I took that whole bungee system off I used the bungee that I took off from the paddle clip and replaced with the paddle clips and I moved that to the back right here as you can see so the pad eyes are gone I screwed those in and now I can use this paddle clip as my cart clip, which is a uh, Hobie with the easy wheels uh, for sand. And they're just, I think they're better for overall use. So that's what I'm gonna use. And I've also done the bungee mod with these. So I don't have to flip over the Outback every time I wanna put the wheels in, which is nice. And I got my super stick right here that I use with the micro power anchor. I have a video on that to modify the tip to make it work because it does come with a metal tip to, to pull off. Um, and it's basically the same stuff on this side. I got my tackle boxes, my busy pole on that track system. So yeah, I mean, that's basically the gist of it. Um, I tried to rush through this and, and you know hurry up and go through it just so it's not such a long video but if you have any questions let me know um, this trailer is the old trailer that I had for my PA it needed minor adjustment but with the unistrut and the uh, bolts and everything it was easily adjustable it was within a minute or two I had it adjusted right for the Outback I uh, love that system but the trailer is going to be updated. That's going to be a couple more videos. Probably this fall, this winter is uh, we're putting a second layer on there. Second rack right here. Uh, like a truck uh, ladder rack. So I can carry my wife's compass above the Outback. And then I'm, I have another one of these J hooks. So I'm going to have two pairs of those. And that's going to go on either side of where the compass would be on top of the rack. So hopefully in total, I'll be able to carry four kayaks with the outback on the bottom and the compass and maybe two other kayaks on top and we got my rod pod i'm hopefully going to mount that either underneath the top ladder rack or onto the side somewhere and i might add a second one to the other side <clears throat> but there you go there's my walkthrough rigged 2019 hobie outback uh if you guys enjoyed this, subscribe. There's going to be plenty more rigging videos. I haven't got this thing on the water yet, as you can see. 
there's been nothing but rain for probably two weeks and with this new hurricane Florence coming in uh, in Virginia I don't I don't see it changing for at least a week so hopefully then I'll be able to get a uh, get the outback out and do a first impressions and review and all that stuff but hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did subscribe uh, if you want to see more mods on the trailer or or if you have any questions about the mods I did on the Outback right now, subscribe, leave a comment, do all that good stuff. Don't forget to like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.